the first cargo ship to leave Ukraine since Russia invaded its neighbor more than five months ago, has run into bad weather in the Black Sea and is set to arrive later than scheduled in Istanbul. The Sierra Leone flagged Razoni, which set sail from the Ukrainian port of Odessa on Monday, is now expected to reach Istanbul early Wednesday, according to Rear Admiral Oskan Altun Bulak, a coordinator at the Joint Center established to oversee the grain shipments, AP reported. According to a study by Yale University School of Management, over a thousand companies have curtailed or reduced operations in Russia since the start of the war in Ukraine. These include Nestle, GlaxoSmithKline, Pfizer, Uber, and Adidas. However, several major international companies like Bajaj Auto, JSW Steel, Lacoste, Mahindra, and Mitsubishi continue to operate business as usual in Russia, to the criticism of Yale's study. These revelations form part of a broader study from Yale School of Management on the so-called crippling impact of divestments and departures on the Russian economy. As a result of the business retreat, Russia has lost companies representing roughly 40% of its GDP, reversing nearly all of three decades' worth of foreign investment and buttressing unprecedented simultaneous capital and population flight in a mass exodus of Russia's economic pace, the study states. In other news, the ISW reported that Russian forces are transferring elements of the Eastern Military District, or EMD, from the Slovyansk area to support defensive positions along the southern axis over the last 24 hours. Further, the ISW added that Russian forces did not conduct any offensive operations north of Slovyansk or around Siversk. Russian forces also conducted unsuccessful ground assaults on settlements south and southeast of Bakhmut. Russian regional officials are reportedly failing to provide promised payments to the Atal Volunteer Battalion of the Republic of Chuvashia, added the ISW. For The Print, this is Raga Bikchandani, content co-written by Suchet Veer Singh. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on social media.